Anyone familiar with the Pulp Fiction coffee house in downtown Kelowna has probably met Robbie. Robbie is the standard poodle that's been part of the operation since the very beginning about seven years ago. Well, Robbie passed on last year and his replacement, R2, has been on duty for a year now. So we thought we'd check in and see how he's doing. So Max, when you first opened up Pulp Fiction, Robbie, your standard poodle, was an important part of the whole feel of the place. Oh, yes, yeah, we, we named the uh, bookstore after after Robbie. And, uh, well, people will phone up and say uh, they'd like to speak to Robbie. And I said, well, he's he's in his basket having a nap. When he gets up, I'll have him give you a woof. <laughs> and they thought, they always think that I'm Robbie. So, and they think that the, the dog was Max. Tell us about Robbie's wall. Well, a uh, customer brought in a plaque, uh, uh, Robbie's wall. Uh, there are two pictures of his favorite customers. One when he dressed up as Darth Vader for Halloween. Another graduation uh, picture from obedience school. And a, another from um, uh, reading a book, getting up to uh, speed on cat harassment. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie won, his ashes are here on the mantle. And uh, he'll never be forgotten. I mean, he's a part of our life, always will be. So obviously, you have, yeah. you have a great love for, for well, then, Robbie. Yeah. Um, did your customers right away get the same comfort from having him around oh, that, yes. that you do? Yes, yeah, and he, uh, yeah, a lot of people would come in just, just to see Robbie. On occasion, they wouldn't even buy a coffee. They just came in to see him or bring their children in to see him. So, so having a resident dog on duty uh, is pleasant, but also, I guess, good for business? Oh, absolutely, yeah. He had his own Snapchat. He, has, he had a following, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. sadly, we lost Robbie yes. last year. Yes. But uh, along comes R2. Yes, Robbie II. He's, he's doing pretty well. For a year old, he's doing amazing, actually, yeah. He really likes the ladies. He's a ladies' man. But uh, men, not so much. So maybe it's because a, a deeper voice or but on occasion he'll growl a little bit. And, but even when he's growling, his tail's still wagging. So it's not, it's not serious. So he has to stay behind this, this, the line of this doorway here into the, into the bookshop area. Exactly, yeah. And um, is he picking up on that? Yes, yeah. Oh, he's got it pretty well mastered. He <laughs> you can see that there's a, a portion stickied out, but... Uh, <laughs> But pretty well, he's got it, yeah. For other business people who think, well, I don't know, bring my dog to work? What's your, what's your advice on that? Oh, I think it's great. I'd like to see more of that. So R2 doesn't really replace Robbie, but uh, he's just a new distraction. Yes, yeah. And uh, people always say that uh, they're like family. Well, no, they're not like family. They are family. You know, it's a very important part of our life. All right, thanks for telling us about yes. R2 and, okay. and Robbie. Thank you, yes. Thank you for watching Kelowna Now.